Ladies and gentlemen, we are not done yet. Ladies and gentlemen, I've gotten a lot of people requesting me to watch a video from the OG CJ the Champ, who basically does the biggest flexes in anime videos on the weekly, except it's not titled Biggest Flexes of Anime, and it is also not weekly. Vikings, the OG menaces to society as a massive stan of Vinland Saga. I'm very excited to jump right into it and see my man CJ the Champ talk about some freaking awesome Vikings, because Askeladd, my boy, He's done one of the 50 biggest flexes in anime. <laughs> he has. So I'm more than happy to see what we got here. <laughs> Disclaimer. I do love disclaimers. War. Violence. Oh. Brutality. Ah. Pillaging. I take all that motherfucking money, nigga. Killing. Watch me get this night, bro. Oh, come on, man. We gotta get out of here. Stop. Hell yeah. Shot, baby. Taking booty. Wait, hold up. Whoa, my my dude, you do not just put a scene of redo on healer on screen and expect to just walk away with that. I'm a warrior. And eating this large piece of meat with absolutely man. no amount of seasoning. Oh. This was just He's another. He's white. Day. Forgive him. He's, he's a white man. Listen. He In the books for the Viking. And on today of this episode of Black Air Force Energy Z. We will not just be diving into one, but four of these absolute oh! monsters. Oh, <laughs> we're getting a big boy video today. These on their quest to be praised in Valhalla. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Thor's, Thorkill, and Askeladd are definitely gonna be three of the four. Who's the fourth though? And walk the halls of the glorious round table. Vinland be packing. Vinland Saga is one of my top 15 anime of all time. You should definitely check it out. It's not gonna be any normal looking trial. Doesn't we'll cover like four people. But uh, we do what we gotta do. So, All we right. start off with this man waking up in a wheat field. Hey. And his shoddy is calling him from a distance. Hey! Quick, 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 come get some of this ass. That's, that's what she actually said. A lot of you may not know that. Oh, say less. So, it looks like this is just your average run of the mill, peaceful looking dude. But uh,. <laughs> He wasn't always like this. Because uh, this man right here is one of the most feared Vikings of all time. Brody was just having a oh, fever. Dude's a monster. Because this man is just oh mocking the God. floor with these niggas. Dog is picking up multi-kill after multi-kill. And the funniest thing is, like, normally, like, you'd be like, okay, one guy versus one guy. That's, you know, that's a fair fight. This dude doesn't consider it a fair fight, no matter how many fodder are in front of him. It's like... He knows he's the main character. He is the Jedi among the sea of droids, okay? This dude does not miss. Like I said, I'm the hash linking, slash linking, slasher. So, he ladies just walks and gentlemen, this through is the crowd, turning them into corpses. Savage. Thor's. First of all, you should know bro is a demon just by his name. Nigga's name is Thor, but plural. <laughs> and you're going to start to notice something, too. Every person that has Thor at the beginning of their name is a damn demon. But anyways, after bro just- That's not necessarily true. There are a couple of like random side characters named Thor Schmuck. Mm, Thor Schmuck. He doesn't really do much. Multiple ships with absolutely no effort. This one brave soul right here was like, oh, I gotta fight this nigga. <laughs> I can't, I can't go out like no yeah. bitch. Bitches don't get let into Valhalla. So bro ran out of her. Obviously, this poor soul got washed. Well. The dog ended up saying something in his dying breath. The dude said, oh, my, my shorty, I'm sorry. So blood had Thor's thinking. Thor's was like, hmm, you know what? Maybe this life ain't for me. So while this man is- He was like, I mean, the chances of me actually dying in battle are slim to none, but- Casually thinking in deep thought and get shot with an arrow and it's not fake. He doesn't even move. It's just like, doink. Arrow hits him. He's like, mm, yes, yes, yes. This other dude tried to come oh, and kill him, but dude threw him in the water and went from Thor to Aquaman. Nigga turned into Jason Momoa and switched verses. So after he killed him, he was like, nah, B, I can't do this no more. I got family values. So dog just straight up dipped and deserted. He just left. So he's like, you know what? Why am I even fighting this for some king? Eh, I'm out of here. And he swims away from a naval war. 15 years in the past and then this man Thor's is living a peaceful life man settled down with his lovely wife he got a daughter and his peaceful innocent unproblematic son named Thorfinn who uh -oh. will clearly not uh -oh. become a danger to society in his teenage years uh -oh. 
Is that an Among Us sound effect for the foreshadowing? Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, no. So even though Thor's has been living a peaceful life, well, uh, the game kind of caught back up to that brother. Because all these Vikings ended up pulling up to the village in this... Oh my god, it's Floki. The man with the squarest head of them all. L man's right here, Floki. This blockhead ass nigga. <laughs> you cannot tell me bro's head is not built like a Thor. <laughs> so later on, Floki start talking to Thor's. So he starts saying, man, Thor's, listen, man. I knew you was a bitch. But I ran away from Minecraft to deliver this message to you. I ain't know you was this much of a bitch. <laughs> Nigga deserted for what? To take care of a family? He's like trying to, you know, trying to poke him, trying to prod him, trying to get him mad. And my man Thor's is just sitting there like, oh, this sad man. Wake up on a Sunday morning and get some coaching? <laughs> Nigga thought he could live a peaceful life. Nigga, shut your blockhead ass up. Nigga, what the fuck you want? All right, all right, all right. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, blood, Uh, we're going to war. So uh, pack your shit and uh, let's go. Oh. That life is behind me now. Man, nigga, fuck your peaceful life and stop being a bitch. No, now get the fuck out of my village. All right, all right, all right. But uh, you know, this village do look pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. You wouldn't mind it if me and my boys uh -oh. decide to have a little fun and raid this motherfucker. Uh -oh. So yeah, bro, this man Floki saw that black melon, bro. Dog said, yeah, I'm a rage your village and you should be happy that we ain't executing your ass right now. So Thor's has to go back. Oh God, bro, my man Floki was talking to him and he was giving him the live Dr. Han reaction the entire time. Floki's just saying, hey, you're gonna go back to war. I'm gonna force you. And he's just sitting here. Yeah, yeah, no. No. <laughs> to war. And all these people are excited they are going to war. Look at this old They're Vikings, ass man. Bro, They're bro Vikings. is saying, Oh, yeah, sonny, it's been 75 long years. No. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. You can't pay me to live back in this time. It got so bad that his own son was ready to go to war. Thor's had to come over to him and say, Boy, what the fuck are you doing? He literally, you're killing his character. I know that it's for the comedic purposes, but he was like so calm. He was like, fuck are you doing? <laughs> no, no, he was like so peaceful. Dad, I, I'm just getting ready for war. He's I'm like, coming oh, with you're you not, No, bitch. You're boy, a child. you're too young. You don't have enough testosterone yet. True. But dad, boy, listen to me. You have no enemies. Oh, he said the thing. He said the thing. My man said the thing. Boy, also. You don't have an ounce of hair on your balls yet. What the fuck Damn. makes you think you're gonna go out there and go to war? Damn. Man, this is more bullshit. Fuck you, Pops. Boy, where are you going? Boy! <laughs> Oof. Oh, little baby ass kid. So later on, while this man Thor is on the ship heading out to the war, and Thorfinn's little Bruh. baby ass decide to jump on the ship, they end up pulling up in this ravine. So while they're selling in the ravine, they end up realizing, uh -oh. wait a minute, bruh, something is uh -oh. awfully wrong right now. And then this man Thor ends up realizing, uh -oh. oh shit, it's a an ambush. Hey, bag this hoe up. So then at the top of the ravine, you see these level one bandits and they like, eh, smart little motherfucker. Blood must got spidey senses. Ah, uh, so, so the nigga thinks he's smart by going the other way. <laughs> Unfortunately for Thorfinn, this was his cannon event and there's nothing that could be done. Who gives a damn fuck him? Drop that shit. So they end up dropping a bunch of debris in the ravine and trapping them in so they can't escape. And the man behind this jumping is none other than one of the goats oh, himself. Yeah. That's right, one of the big four, Ascalad. The most dastardly nigga on this round table. Dude. The level 99 bandit himself, Ascalad. Oh! I, I love this man so much. He is easily one of the best characters in anime and has performed one of the biggest flexes in anime as documented on the top 50 flexes in anime on the Nuxtaku channel, which will remain in history as one of the, the legend of flexes. This man is a literal human embodiment of run your pockets. This nigga has robbed so many people, he makes Bonnie and Clyde look like some damn novices. Bro don't even need this nigga Lester to plan a heist. Shit, to be honest, bro don't even need a coup. A coup broke a probably solo Pacific standard himself. And what's so wild is he's not even nearly the best fighter in the series like they make it so because in this is a world where you know uh basically might makes right for a lot of characters you have a lot of characters that are just respected and awesome as these absolute giga chads of badassery that they fight like 50 men at a time and they win right you have characters even in season two introduced as characters that are so strong they're feared even by a platoon of soldiers he is not the best fighter he's not in the top 10 best fighters in the story he's a decent fighter he's definitely uh, an upper tier i suppose but 
but compared to Thor's, compared to Thor kill, even Thorfinn, compared to 90% of like what are considered the S tier characters, this dude would not win. So while they pulling up, this man Thor's looks at Thorfinn and says, boy, listen to him. He don't, he's not a Viking and he doesn't care about honor. My man's from, he's a Welshman. And as every Welshman says, run your pockets, bitch. <laughs> to me. You wanted to go to battle so badly, then so be it, little nigga, because we about to get acting this hoe. So this man Thor's wasted no time. Dog jumped on their ship and bruh said, fuck a sword. I only need my first oh. level one NPCs. Lord good God on birth. You know, that's that wild. is the most demon backhand I have seen. And then the other band is like, you never should have come here. But it didn't matter because this nigga Thor's was dragonborn. Bro casually slapped everybody on this ship. Then My dog walked God. up to the next. Literally slapped. Next one, nigga said, Bro. And look at his poor soul. Bro ran at him with his axe. Nigga said, finish him. Oh, shit. oh my god, did you see that attack? So as this man Thor continued to put on a oh clinic of anti-jumping, this man Bjorn got zooted off the shrooms and started hulking oh, yeah. out. Bro was so high off his ass, he didn't even know he was fighting his own team. But this man Thor's was not phased. Bro had his critical art ready. Bro hit him with the shin. Dude, how insane is that? And then you realize this guy Bjorn is actually a like he's a berserker. He's actually a good fighter, but it doesn't matter, bro. Uh, no. So after <laughs> Thor's oh finished God. farming XP with all these level one niggas, he pulled up on Askeladd and was ready for the boss fight. Bro said, I challenge ye to a duel, ho ass nigga. But this man Askeladd was like, man, motherfucker, what the fuck you think this is, a game? My nigga, I just came here to jump your ass. What the fuck you mean, my nigga? Yeah, uh, I don't know if you know him, but uh, got a blockhead? Floki? Yeah, uh, he contracted me to jump you. <laughs> Rat ass motherfucker. So yeah, bro, remember when I called that man Floki a L-mans? Yeah, bro went behind Thor's back the whole time and was setting him up. But Askeladd, being a gentleman, decided to accept the duel. So they no, he's a gentleman, right? He accepts the duel. Wow, this Askeladd guy just saw Thor's fight an entire platoon barehanded. He, he, he fought this guy that was literally coked up out of his mind, injecting all sorts of performance enhancing berserker drugs. And he fought him one on one. Started fighting. I ain't gonna lie. Askeladd held on for a bit. But the Askeladd gave him, uh, he had a cool move there. Man, Thor's had that freak ass strength. The bro started overpowering him and oh. caught him slipping. So while Thor's got Askeladd locked up, Askeladd start pressing him, bro, saying, Well, come on now, motherfucker. Go ahead and do it. Kill me, you soft ass nigga. Oh, oh, don't tell me the legendary troll of Yom is a bitch. But this man, Thor's, was like, No. Taking I am no bitch. Taking life is for the weak. A uh, true warrior does not need a sword. But this man Askeladd was like, man, fuck your philosophy, you weak ass nigga. <laughs> Motherfucker, you really thought I was about to play by the motherfucking rules and uh -oh. follow your bitch ass, pacifist ass, goddamn ideology nigga. Motherfucker, who the fuck you think you is? You think I'm a Viking that I care about honor? Bro, I'm from Welsh. Now run thy pockets immediately, sir. Drop thy pockets all over the face. It's a cannon event. Bitch! Gandhi nigga! Man, shoot that soft ass nigga! Oh. Yeah. It's so sad he got hit by all those arrows. He must be dead, right? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Caught blood lacking in the trenches. But this man Thor's was such a dick. Oh, dude, he has an arrow in his neck. Man is still standing. Damn savage. Bro died while standing, dude. Standing up! This is some white beard stuff. Bro said, let me flex on these hoes before- HE SAID IT! He said the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Oh, I die. But with the death of a savage, another savage was born that uh -huh. day. One of the most demented, toxic little niggas of all time. This is the little damn demon child was born. Look at how demented he looks! And bro was yelling, I am going to kill you niggas. I will be the last thing you ever see. So over time, Thorfinn just gets exposed to just absolute savagery. One day yeah. he just watches Askeladd and his crew just pillage an entire village. Then later on that night, Thorfinn tried to sneak him, but he ended up remembering his dad's teachings. Well, I was like, ah, I can't kill this nigga. I'll go out like a bitch another day. 
But Askeladd was up the entire so they, time. Dude, a the fact that Askeladd had him on his crew, even though he knows that Thorfinn is literally trying to kill him every day, he still has him on his squad just because, you know, he could use him. That's just wild. Earlier that morning, Thorfinn challenges Askeladd to a duel. Bro was like, to avenge my father, fight me, old nigga. So this man, Thorfinn, started attacking him, but Askeladd looked at him and said, weave. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, I tell you, take your ass home. But nah, I ain't even gonna lie. The worst thing that happened to Thorfinn is what these trifling ass niggas did to him after the fight. They looked at him and said, Well, hey, kid, you look kind of hungry. And throws this kid a damn bone and tells him, Hey, it got a little more meat on it. Clean the bone, little nigga. <laughs> no, no, bro. Yes. That is beyond trifling. And then Thorfinn runs away and they like, Well, damn, I mean, shit, we was just trying to be nice. <laughs> So after multiple ass whoopings from Askeladd <laughs> and catching multiple bodies Bro. as a child, man, man became a crazy assassin driven by Ruvain. Many years pass and Thorfinn is now a fully blown, raged out menace to society. So one day they're contracted to fight this one battle, helping out this ugly ass boy, boy. Oh my God, it's a celestial dragon. Four, three fat ass card titan. So earlier on, Askeladd told Thorfinn, yo, if you bring me the head of a general, I'll give you another duel. So while they fighting this battle, Thorfinn has this du dude. How crazy is that? He has this guy in his army who he knows is trying to kill him, but he's still manipulating him day in and day out. Dude, hey, blood, who the enemy general and shit? Oh, yeah, oh, uh, you see the guy with the feather on his head? Enemy spotted. Cock a doodle doo, -doo motherfucker. Target acquired. So this man Thorfinn blitzed to the front lines, jumped all the way to the wall, and pulled up on them like, all oh, y'all ugly some bitches is dying today. So bro just starts going on a rampage. Look at his first person Dude. camera view. Bro started playing Ghost Runner. Slice, slice, intestines. Give me your intestines. Weave. And makes a mad dash to the leader and decapitates him. Yes, sir. Cleanly. Yes, sir. Oh, brother, this guy's crazy. A bro ends up forgetting. Ah, shit, I need his head. And jumps off and leaves. Bro came for one purpose and one yes, purpose. Yes, sir. Only. So he was there for one thing. Thorfinn did that. This man, Askeladd, came into the. Dude, this, this is the craziest. Dude, Askeladd is so cool. I, I'm going to continue simping for this horrible monster uh, for as long as I can. Battle. While they were holding up these ships and running with these hoes, this whole crew cleared out the entire fortress. Then, after they were done, they robbed the fat nigga. They yes. took. Dude, that sounds so wrong. All of bro's treasure. And this man, Askeladd, told him, Hey, ugly ass boy, appreciate doing business with you, ugly ass nigga. Now, I know this is your trash and shit, but uh, we taking this as a down payment. Then this man, Thorfinn, jumped on the ship. Dude, the fact that he came with a boat on land, my God. Threw the head at him and told him, Hey, yo, nigga, rub me my fucking fade. So this man, Askeladd, said, Ah, uh, shit, I right. <laughs> First thing in the morning. So before Askeladd and Thorfinn had their next duel, Askeladd had to greet his hoes. Hey, how y'all fine ass ladies doing today? <laughs> oh my God, Zaddy, yes! Uh, <laughs> thank y'all very much. I love y'all too. Big Bertha, I'll see your fine ass over there with that strong ass jawline of y'all, baby girl. Meet me that fine, sexy ass boo boo. Hey, hey, hold on. I got something for y'all lovely ladies. Hey, show me them titties if y'all want some new motherfucking nice in this motherfucking Oh, he's so awesome. What a nice and wholesome pimp. Dude, Andrew Tate could take lessons from this man on how to manipulate children. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, that duel with Thorfinn? Yeah, uh, Brody got his ass whooped again. <laughs> and not only did he have him beat, but he's like, yeah, I'm gonna break your arm too so that you actually have to think about it next time you challenge me. And also, like, I, I think that it should be made more clear. Askeladd in this duel basically pissed him off and told him like, oh, you're gonna lose just like your father, your father, that loser, that dude, that cringe And he got mad and he rushed him and he got whooped. Like he had to use some mind tactics on him because Askeladd is not the strongest fighter and that is, that doesn't matter. He put a boat on land and he attacked a fortress with a ship on land. It's the fact that he's manipulating this dude to fight all of his battle. But ladies and gentlemen, we have yet been introduced to the biggest monstrosity 
on this trial. Oh God, Thorkill, Thorkill. I love this man. Oh yes, a soul man that embodies the definition of savagery. No, and would not. you believe me it's if coming. I told you that this man- What do you have against the Welsh? I'm just saying the Vikings fight for honor. This dude fights for, you know, the bag. Was a real person standing at a whopping oh, seven, seven. The oh my God, he's almost as tall as I am. To make terror himself, Thorkell the Tall. Look at this fucking behemoth. This is pure insanity. Oh, yeah. Bro is casually chucking axes and getting quintuple kills. This nigga is a monster. All right, you're ready for the real flex from so Thorkill the Tall? All right, it's not the fact that he throws trees at enemy ships, like, like full trees. Shoom! Throws them at enemy ships. No, 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 no. That's not the flex. The flex is the fact that he's on this side altogether. He, he's a mercenary. He'll, he gets hired for battles and he goes to the weaker losing side because what's the fun in fighting in a war that you know you'll win? He only lets himself get hired by the losing side of battles. And by the fact that he's still around, it means he changes these things. My man is one of the biggest flexes in anime. The walking flexes. Getting quintuple kills. This nigga is a monster. So this man Thorkill yeah. defected to fight with the English for money, but also the real oh, reason- oh, oh, he's gonna say it. He's saying the flex. He left because bro was bored because yep. nobody could fight him. So he said, I'm just gonna go fight my own people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My man went to the losing side of the battle for the flex. So the L man's Floki himself came up to him. <laughs> Floki, this man, what a loser. He's just drifting from one, taking one L after the other the entire show. Because he wanted to try to buy him back. But why bro I'll offer you double what they're paying you. He's like, double what they're paying me, but then I'll be going to the winning side of the battle. No, thank you. I was trying to do these negotiations. He had to be shitting bricks. Because look at this man come behind bro right here. He is <laughs> homing <laughs> his head. But this man Thorkell said, he just, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hey, hey, what's <laughs> going on, my nigga? Did you finally come to fight me? Enough with the bullshit, you big bastard. Dude, is he playing Patrick theme song in the background? Dude, listen, the king has a message for you. Surrender now and uh, please come back and thy king will pay you double. Oh man, that's no fun. Uh, I think that's a hard pass. He's just like, double? Oh, you think I do this for the money? It's not about the money. It's about sending the message. <laughs> nigga, what? Be reasonable. <laughs> reasonable? I'll be honest with you. My only reason is just have a good fight. Hell no. So tell your king to shove this boulder. <laughs> 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 The boulder's gonna win this in a rock a lanch. Oh, shit. Man literally oh, man. dropped a island missed. on them. So the king started sending his forces again. So to counter their attack, this man decided to throw logs. Dog. He was throwing logs and destroyed their entire fleet. The boulder takes issues with your bribery. So this man Thorfinn decided to pull up because Askeladd told him I'll give you another duel if you go fight Thorkill. But little did Thorfinn know that he was heading to- Dude, what a legend. He's like, mm, yes, this Thorkill guy could be a problem. Eh, we'll, we'll just send Thorfinn at him. Why not? Wait. We've manipulated this man until now. I guess it's time to end his story. So Thorkill told everybody, nobody lay hands on the little man. This little strawberry shortcake is mine. Oh God, he has a Dark Souls health bar run. So this man Thorfinn started fighting the boss fight of his life. Dude, that was a Saitama punch. Strawberry shortcake is mine. So this man Thorfinn- My man literally getting the Saitama impact right now. Started fighting the boss fight of his life. But I ain't gonna lie, he started off nice. Bro landed a nice little cut. And he had Thorkell like, wow, amazing. You cut me. <laughs> because the craziest thing is, and they made it extremely clear, even though he's like double the size of your average dude, he's also faster than most of them. Haven't been wounded in over a decade. He's like, wait a second, you're in a war every day of your life and you haven't been wounded in a decade? How? Wait, oh, oh, I like you, little nigga. So Thorfinn ended up stabbing him in the hand, but it was too good. And the dude was, he just blocked it. True. He's just having fun. Like, He's just, <laughs> that was fun. I caught you. Got and you. then this is where he just started to. Oh God, this is great. I don't even want to see it. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it's, are you ready? 
Are you ready for the, the scene of a lifetime? Get thrashed. He started. He grabs his hand with the knife through his hand and he's just wee. Picking him up and slamming him oh. on the ground repeatedly. Bro gave him the Hulk Loki special. My God. Dude. Oh my God, bro. Dude, Look at his friend? body. That hoe is dangling. No. no. And, this man and he's just, oh no, I broke my toy. And Thorkel was like, hey man, wake up. We, we, we were just getting started. But this man Thorfinn ended up cutting off his fingers. But he is not phased. What is this man's pain receptor? He bro just lost two fingers and ah. he is smiling. He's just like, mm, yes. He was playing dead, guys. Did you see how he was playing dead? Oh, that's so cute. And meanwhile, he's there, missing two fingers, bleeding everywhere. And he's just giggling. Uh, yes. So Thorfinn ends up leaving, and Thorkell starts telling him, Hey, thanks for the fight, little man. Make sure to bring your ass back. So this man Thorkell decided to continue these insane charades. Bro was tired of waiting for them at the bridge, so he went on the attack. Him and his men decided to win on the attack. And what weapon did he decide to use, you might ask? A tree. To attack the enemy base, and he decided to hit him with his signature yeah. log smash. And he pulls up on Canute, a whole prince, and captures him. What was that man's royal guard doing? Yeah. But later on, well, clearly not enough. On while Thor killing his men are transporting Canute, they end up stopping because both spike man logged into the server at the right time. If you know what I'm saying, since it started tingling, so this man jumped off the cart, grabbed a spear, and said, uh, "Let's see." Oh God, this is just terrifying. You should I, like I've, I haven't I haven't watched season one of Inland Saga in years, but it is so memorable. That's how impactful this Be man hiding is. Hiding right, right about there. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude! How insane is that? Thorkill is everyone's canon event. We're done. Nope. Yep. Nope. 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 I I'm I'm done, bro. Yeah. Just go ahead, uh go ahead, pull that seat up and uh have a great day. Yeah. My guy just basically hit a trick shot. He just grabbed that phase Thorkill. Oh, randomly chucked that bitch and he got a headshot. Yo, I, I am sick. So this whole army ends up revealing themselves and they started telling them, ye are surrounded by 2,000 troops. Surrender so full kill and release thy prince and saw Conehead. But this is when bro started getting more insane and the absurdity oh, started no. to spike. He releases Canute. I freaking love this man. Back to the army. They're just like, uh, okay. Just so he could fight them and recapture him. Dude, this man's playing capture the flag like it's solitaire. And then this man started showing off his A1 instigating skills. He started telling them, so since y'all got the prince back now, y'all wanna start scrapping? I mean, you have nothing to worry about and we are the enemy, right? So he, he, they didn't just do it for fun. They did it because they were afraid that if they had the prince, they couldn't attack them with all they got because they would be afraid to hurt the prince. So to make sure that they wouldn't be able to hold back, he gives them the prince. Oh God, the guy's a monster. Uh, see, uh, oh, you know what they say? Bitches don't get let in the Valhalla. Ooh, oh God, kill this nigga! That's right, pussies, bring that ass. So this man started turning into a human meat grinder. He is cutting through these poor souls. Dude, like look at this body. man. Two battle axes. are flying everywhere. Godly flames. Jesus, I'm gonna have a terrible time having to censor this. So after Thorkell caught like a hundred body kill streak, Ascalad and his men end up third partying. Cause early- Cause that's how he does it. No confrontation required. Later on, this man got intel that they was moving Canute. So after he decapitated the messenger so he could take the prince and get all the reward money, bro set a whole forest fire, sent Thorfinn in to snag the prince to take his ass to snag the reward money. So after Ascalad pulled off that stunt, they are now on the run from Thorkell because everybody wants the prince. These niggas are playing oddball. So while Ascalad and his- Yeah, being on the run from Thorkell, that's bad because nothing can stop this man. His crew on the run. They end up doing some, uh, Inhumane shit. Yeah, Take that's for example, horrible. they what, end up butchering an entire village. Raiding this one village in the cold, harsh winter. Now keep in mind, these people are minding their damn business. They just chilling, paying grace, and getting ready to grub. These niggas in this bitch sends this lady to the shadow realm they take all of their food grab all the villagers get them together and look at this poor this is so sad man. but 
Yep, yep. Bro said, Please, sir, don't, don't, don't take all our food. How are we gonna survive the winter? You won't. And Askeladd told them, Man, you'll be fine. Matter of fact, you won't ever have to worry about surviving another winter ever again. <laughs> and they killed all of them. Every single last villager, Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh yeah, yeah. also, uh, he snuck Cokehead. But anyways, yeah. later on, Thor Kell ends up catching up. And Dog was wasting no time. He said, you know what? Dude just walked through a blizzard. Just like, oh, there you are, guys. Hi, guys. Let me hit another trick shot for my montage. So this man loads up every single bit of testosterone in his body. And triple kill. Shuts that hole and hits a quad. for it. My God. So after Thorkel just pulled off I am the cannon event. One of the most monstrous trick shots of all time. Askeladd's men are done. They don't even want to continue the mission no more. They are turning on him. Them niggas said betrayal. Cause they like, nah, bro, give us the prince because uh, uh we're giving them the Thorkel. Yeah. So this man Askeladd was like, uh huh. huh. So, so y'all just want to turn on me now, huh? Me. <laughs> Big homie Askeladd, huh? Well, you know what? <laughs> Suck my dick. So all hell just breaks loose. He just starts yeah. going wild. Look at his tomahawk throw. How about the blow? So about five minutes play. pass, and Askeladd is on his last legs, but the man has went on a rampage. But he is still going buck wild. He split this man in two. But then they ended up shooting arrows at him. They said, we're going to do you just like we did Thor's. But when they about to kill him, Thorkel ends up pulling up. So ask And they're like, oh, we did you such a favor. We did a good thing, a good deed for you. We, we, we stopped them because we're on your side and because we know you're awesome and, and, and so hot. So of course we will, we will let you take the spoils of all of this. We want to join you, good sir. Glad and his men start trying to reason with Thorkel. And Thorkel's like, mm, you want me to join you? You're at cock level. Oh, but this man wasn't trying to. So he went over to Askeladd oh and God. said, mm, you look strong. I like you. Alrighty, I've made my decision. Kill everyone except for Askeladd. So they start fighting. And they're like, wait a second, but we did this for you. And everybody, and this oh, bozo no. right here. Oh, up oh, oh is, God. Oh, this guy. Says, wait, please reconsider. But this man handed him an axe and said, And he said, listen, bro. Listen, dog. Listen, homie. You're about to die. At least go to Valhalla and die with a weapon in your hand. Here you go. Fight like a man. Don't go outside. And he had this man so shook, he fried his brain. Yep, man just, just lost his mind. Well, what the hell, what? The nigga is not working up there anymore. There's no so one while there. the battle is getting to its climax, Thorfinn blazes into the fray on his steed. Bro said, I am ready for phase Are you ready? Two of this boss fight. So Thorkel decided to bump up his insanity meter oh to the high. Oh no, oh god. This nigga punches the horse. Oh god damn it. Every single time I see this, I'm just like blown away by how massively of a flexor this Thorkel guy. Do you see this? Are you watching what I am seeing? Do your eyes deceive you? The horse! No, 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 bro. I, I, I've seen the most from this man. From using logs as weapons, throwing spears and getting collaterals, and now uppercutting a horse. My this Lord. man is truly an anomaly to mankind. So all the fighting just stops because everybody wants to witness this duel. This is like a school fight at this point, except nobody has their phone out and is recording at terrible ass angles. So they start fighting, and it looks like Thorfinn has maxed out his evading skills. So Thorkill told Thor. Dude, dude figured out that if you just dodge roll at the right time, you have invincibility frames. That's his only chance. Thorfinn, wow, you got some balls, kid. You must have got that from your father. And this man Thorfinn's like, wait, what the hell you mean by that? Then bro says, oh yeah, uh, I'm your uncle. But well, what the hell, what? So everybody started laughing at Thorfinn, but Thorkill plays a whack a mole with this man's head and says, all right, now y'all best shut the fuck up. Nephew got my balls in y'all. Now come get this pain, nephew. And bro rips off his coat in this cold ass weather, this motherfucker is crazy so thorfinn actually yeah yeah that's the limit now he's crazy punching a horse throwing logs at people nah that's whatever taking his coat off in the winter my god we started cutting him up bro was pulling off a miracle but it was too good to be true because bro made a smoke screen and kicked this nigga to fall home 
fall on him. My God. Bro said, how's the view, nephew? And then look at him fall, bro. Oh, Lord. But Thorfinn gets up trying to fight again. But Thorkell's like, hey, nephew, check that arm, though. And Bro's arm is doing a negative 90 degree angle. Ooh. So this man, Askeladd, had to start Ooh. coaching him up. Bro said, get your shit together, little nigga. You better not go out like no bitch, boy. So Thorkell continues to go crazy. But Askeladd told Thorfinn, this monster actually has a weak spot, but it'll only show up for a moment. So Thorfinn had to start playing possum to get Thorkell to come up to him to about to finish him off. Uh -oh. So Askeladd could blind him for just a second for Thorfinn to land a critical hit on this man's chinny chin chin to actually knock him down. My and Thorfinn God. jumps. He stands broken. All that double combo. My man had to play Dark Souls co-op with all the summons to stance break this man one time. It starts to gouge out his eye. This is a fucking miracle. But then Thorkel's men started trying to kill him. But Thorkel said, cut that shit out. Don't you dare embarrass me like this. He went up to his second command and said, what the fuck, bro? Why, why, why you do that? And bro said, listen, my nigga, I'm trying to save your legacy. What you think people gonna think when they heard your big ass got knocked down by that little nigga, huh? So yeah, bro, Thorkel had to take his first L in like years. Ever. And now we find- Since Thor's <laughs> first L since the dad that was the big flexor in episode four of this show. Finally get to Askeladd and Thorfinn's last oh, duel. Baby. And how did this plan out? Right up. Yeah. Thorfinn gets his ass whooped for the 50 millionth time. Bro is the baby. The nigga has not changed his flow. This man Askeladd was bored. It was like, damn little nigga, learn some new moves. I can speed run you at this point. So now we get to Askeladd's last hoorah. Ladies and gentlemen, before we talk about Askeladd's last hoorah and the reason why he will forever be cemented as one of the biggest flexors in anime, a man so legendary he made it onto my list of the top 50 biggest flexes, I recommend, if you have not seen Vinland Saga, to turn this video off and go watch Vinland Saga. This story is a lot more than he's actually describing. He, this is a 27 minute video and he cannot do justice to the entire Vinland Saga tale, let alone season two, which he doesn't even cover yet. The last episode of the first season of Vinland Saga is one of the biggest and most powerful and impactful moments in anime. In the moment that cemented him as one of the greatest menaces to oh society of oh all God, time. This man gets invited. Oh, it's, it's coming. It's coming. I'm coming. He's coming. We're all coming. To a party by the king of Denmark oh. for helping out Canute. You no, know this nigga Askeladd did. Bro, just. <laughs> his head. Yeah, he didn't. <sighs> he just decapitated the king of Denmark and proclaimed that he's the descendant of King Arthur. But I ain't gonna lie, I'll do the same thing. He was talking nasty about his mama. And then he just went on a- Dude, dude, you did not do that scene justice. As much as I respect and love you, I know that you can't give every single scene in this show as much light as it deserves, but I, as a massive Vinland Saga stan, my man did not just decapitate him. He was being praised by the king. He was given a high position by the king. And he knew that if he would follow all the king's commands, he would get all of this wealth, all of this glory. However, it means that a lot of his nation would be in trouble. He looks at the king and says, it's not fitting. And the king says, what's not fitting? It's not fitting that such a beautiful crown is sitting upon such an ugly head. And he decapitates the king in front of all of his men, knowing that it is his last breath. Now that is a scene. A rampage. He was killing everybody. Bro said, come one, come on, nigga. Bro said, fuck Game of Thrones. I'm about to make the Red Wedding 2.0. So then Canute finally put him down because they had a plan to, you know, take out the king and everything. But obviously this ain't sit well with Thorfinn because that man was pissed. Bro was like, he was my kill, you son, bitch. But that man, Askeladd, went out like a with damn his... goat. Man said, live your life, little nigga. Go on a redemption arc or something. And uh, after that, that man Thorfinn went from YB to MLK. Hey, bro, I have no enemies. Stop the violence. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at me. I can promise you it's a bigger side of life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, great video. Check out CJ the Champ. Fantastic video. I love Vinland Saga. I was so stoked when I saw that he actually posted a Vinland Saga video thingy. So I'm really happy to be able to watch this with y'all today. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.